Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the Lego Nexo Knights King's Guard Artillery Set. So this is basically like a little um, battle pack that has this big uh, stud launcher style King's Guard weapon. <clears throat> it does look like he comes with a, a villain figure. Yeah, it gives you someone to, to shoot all those studs at. So it looks like it... For such a small set, it looks like it has some pretty cool playability. So, no tape on this. They they show you this little thumb finger thing that you have to you have to demolish the box to get to the contents. I didn't I didn't do good enough demolishing that. I could have I could have really destroyed that box. But all right, we have a small destruction book. We have two. Technic axles that were just loose in the, the box. And then we have two bags of parts. So let's dump those out. One and two. So one bag has the larger parts and then another one has the smaller parts. And it looks like something hit the floor, but I think it was a small Technic bushing, I can't see it. Guess we'll find out later. I actually needed it. All right, we're gonna build our minifigures first. This is one of the rock villains. I'm not sure what they're actually called in this season of the Nexo Knights, but you can see he's got all the kind of the lightning decoration. And then all of the rock, the rock head and other <laughs> rock style stuff. That's our first minifigure. It's one of the villains. And then we have our, oh, let's make him a little weapon. The villains in this wave of Nexo, Nexo Knights summons some sort of lightning powers. See, he has this big um, mallet that has lightning shooting out of it. So that's him and his weapon. So, our King's Guard. Similar to a lot of the King's Guard minifigures we've seen before. Got the trans orange armor. He's got a armor plate over his head. You can kind of see his face through it. Double printed face. This is kind of a angry face. And then this one's not much different. His mouth is shaped a little bit different. This is more of a curve. And this mouth is more of like a straight line across. Other than that, it's really kind of the same face. And he just comes with this little spear, but that's really kind of irrelevant because he's going to have that big stud launcher style um, vehicle he's going to be in. So, speaking of that... Let's get right into the build of it, because those were our only two minifigures in this set. So we're not going to waste any more time looking at those guys. Alright, we have this pneumatic T piece. This slides through here. Another Technic part. So all of these pieces that we've started with are some some variation of Technic. Looks like we've got some more Technic pieces. I'll slide through there. This will go here. Alright. Who knew we were buying a Technic set? This is all Technic. Now we have a Lego wheel piece. Here. 
make sure we don't squeeze it too tight. We want that wheel to be able to turn. A couple more Technic axle joiners, and then we have these long Technic axles that came loose in the box. Attach those there. And this will slide through the Technic brick, through the holes of these orange uh, axle joiners. And then we're going to slide on a couple of these thin bushings. Instructions don't show them slid all the way down. So we'll just kind of stop them right there for now. So we have two of these blade pieces that has a bar on the end. And that bar will slide into this little open stud hole. Top of the cone brick. And then the cone brick has a um, Technic axle shape on the inside. You can see that little cross pattern. So they fit perfectly on these Technic axles. I'll slide that half bushing up onto there. So it looks like we've created some sort of stabbing spear type piece for the front of this thing. Now I don't know if it's going to actually still be able to do this once we put everything else, but it does look like it kind of stabs at something. So that's a maybe an additional play feature. As of right now I'm guessing, but that's why we build these sets so we can actually see the progression of how it's put together and the thought process that went into it. All right, we have a couple one by one bricks with studs on the side. These are the newer style 45 degree slope with the tile on the top. Those will both go there. Have some of these transfluorescent orange studs. And this will attach top of that Technic brick. Now we're going to create another one. Looks like it's similar to what we just did. This one's slightly different. We have a Technic brick here. Another Technic brick. So, Technic non-friction pins. Let's see, we have this Technic gear. I'll slide in there. It does turn. Our little stabber piece still works. All right. Next up, we have these slopes. These are gonna connect on the sides. line up three different Technic pens to put that piece on. Looks like we got it in there pretty good. Two by three plate. Curved piece, some slotted slopes. and then a trans fluorescent orange panel. Turn this over, have a Technic plate. 
Now we're going to build a couple wheels. That's our first one. This one should be exactly the same. Looks like it is. Pyramid plate there. All right, so these pop onto these. Axle joiners that we put on real early on. So that's pretty cool. See how it kind of creates this kind of tripod style piece. A little stabber still works. Have a little mud flap. Next up is our stud launcher piece. So we snap this on. This is the click of no return. Once that's on there, it's pretty much never coming off. And this lines up. You can see there's two pinholes on there. So we'll slide it on there and insert it onto those tan Technic pins that are sticking out. So this gear, you can see when we turn it, what it's turning is that that light gray trigger element on the inside. And what that trigger does is it, it pops out the stud that is being held into this um, body of the gun, I guess you'd call it. So you turn it, you can see they all kind of shoot out. Trying to block them because they do shoot pretty far and they do shoot pretty fast. So let's see. Pick up that one that just fell on the ground. Um, so yeah, don't don't aim this at anyone's eye. Talking to you kids. Don't aim it at your little brother's eye. Don't try to shoot your sister when she's not looking. Be very careful. Be responsible with this um, child's play toy that shoots small projectiles at a rapid pace. All right, so we'll put our king's guard in there. Um, his little spear, I guess he can still hold on to it. It's really not going to do him any good because the uh, little gun here does a little bit better. Let's check out the stabbing action. Yep, that works. I kind of like that play feature better than the, than the shooting of the studs. All right, so that's it. Very small set. Um, pretty cool little set it, it surprisingly has some good playability with it and of course you get this pretty cool little villain vehicle or uh, character the artillery vehicle is is pretty nice too but like i said uh all in all a really good set i'm i'm a fan of the nexo knight sets so uh maybe i'm a little biased and uh i just like it because it's you know half medieval knights and half futuristic space type stuff but really cool stuff so tell me your thoughts put a comment down below if you need to see more nexo knight build videos there's a link down below to all of my other nexo knights videos so check all that out and we will see you in the next one